I've done a lot of diving in the three weeks following Christmas. I used to plan annual dive vacations so that I could decompress from the stress of the holiday season. It was good to take those trips, but it's not good that I needed a vacation to recover from a season that's supposed to be about peace, love, and joy. How did Christmas get so stressful? I used to put a lot of pressure on myself. I wanted to find the right gifts, shop, wrap, mail, and cook early and well, and meet all my professional year-end deadlines with high quality work. I stressed myself out. Throw in some holiday travel, a little bad weather, a few challenging family dynamics, and the best version of myself didn't always show up for Christmas. I'm not proud of that, but I have to be honest. Maybe you've had that experience too. Then I would go diving. I would sink beneath the surface of the ocean, breathe, adjust to increasing pressure as I descended, achieve balance in the water, and just float. You can't talk underwater, and you can't hear much either. I would leave my worries at the surface and just be fully present in the moment. There are so many wonderful and interesting things to see underwater. It finally occurred to me that what I was doing underwater after Christmas was exactly what I was supposed to be doing in life during the holiday season. Relax, breathe, look, listen, and be interested in the people around me. Let go of expectations, be the best version of myself possible, and look for the best in others. It doesn't eliminate holiday stress completely, but it also doesn't create any either, which is probably our greatest contribution to a season of peace, love, and joy. I hope you're having a good, stress-free season, whichever holiday you celebrate. Let us know what stresses you out this season, and especially what you do to manage it. Happy Hanukkah, Yule, and Kwanzaa. Merry Christmas, and best wishes for a safe, happy, prosperous new year. Stream Breaking the Surface right here on YouTube.